What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Felipe, and today we're gonna to talk about how to find the right property manager in-state or out-of-state. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started, as always, hit the like button, comment, and share, or subscribe, or hit the little bell, all that, because it helps the channel out so, so much. Property managers, the black hole of real estate. No one knows how to get the right property managers. Everyone and their mom has one or knows a good one, but that's kind of like opinions. Everyone has one. Is that is that what they say? Opinions? Everyone has one? <laughs> that was funny. This is the secret sauce. I got a good friend of mine who's a property manager. He manages over a thousand properties in and around Georgia and, and Tennessee. And this is what he told me on how to find a good property manager. So sit back and take some notes. You ready? Hit the like button first. Ding. All right. Number one, check their website. If a property manager's website is not clean, clutch, very easy to use, portal for the, for the tenants, where to pay. I mean, you should be three clicks away from anything. Portal, how to pay, how to find houses. If it's all over the place, guys, right away, it's a negative sign for me. They need to be spending dollars in their website. Their website has to be clutch. So that's number one. Number two, check the reviews. Guys, don't spend more time on finding a good restaurant to eat at than your property manager. Come on now. Check their reviews, check their pictures, check their turnaround times. How booked are they? Are they 60% full or 99? Those are great uh, you know, notices as to how good or bad this property management company is doing. So that's another one. Make sure you check the reviews online. Another thing that you can do is call the property management company and act like you're a future tenant. Say, hey, I'm looking to uh, you know, move to fill in the blank of what city that property management company is. And you know, I need something uh, that's a I don't know, two bedroom, three bedroom, two bath, whatever you plan on buying, say the same thing. Do they accept dogs? How quickly do they turn around their properties? Um, ask how they handle maintenance requests. Here's a quick tip. If they handle maintenance requests by you gotta call it in and then hopefully this and that and the other, just go away from that property management company. This is the way they should do it. You can email in or call in and they should have a way for everything to be documented that you requested that. Okay, so if they're like, oh, we can usually get to you within 24 hours to 72, great. But if they're like, well, when you call, then we gotta schedule it. Yeah, if they don't have a flow chart on how their maintenance request works, probably not a good idea. Here's another one, and this is key. If, how do they manage uh, tenant turnover? You know, say, hey, I'm gonna be there for nine months and then I gotta go back home, but then I get, I, I need to come back for two years. Like, how, what is their turnover like, right? Like, ask them. Um, you know, how full are they? Those are some questions you can ask. Here's another one. If the front desk person that answers the phone is mean and you don't, and just, you know what per, kind of people I'm talking about, right? The people that are just like, what do you want? Like whatever, you don't want that. They gotta have great customer service because that's how they're gonna treat your tenants. And we all know the name of the game. Doesn't matter how good of a deal you got. If your tenant sucks, the property is gonna suck. So make sure that your property manager has good customer service. Here's another tip. What kind of response do they have? Call and hang up. Are they gonna call you back? Are they not? Did they miss a call and they just don't care? How quickly can they get someone to talk to you to get you in the door? Because this is how they're gonna treat your property with future potential tenants that wanna move into the property. Here's another one, call and ask to speak to a manager. If like, well, the manager's not here, he'll call you back in three days. Probably not a good sign. Or, hey, Mr. Mejia, yeah, give me a hot second. Let me get you over to the property manager. Hey, Mr. Mejia, my name is boom, 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 manager of da, 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 da. Great, perfect. Here's another thing, how long have they been in business? You can definitely check out their LLC or S Corp and see how long their company has been in business. Two years, uh, seven to 10, probably a good one. So double check those things. That is how you find a great property manager and how you can vet them to make sure that they're good and solid for you. Last one, ask for a referral. Ask if they have anyone that you can talk to that is a client of theirs, tenant or proper or uh, owner that they manage for, and really call them and find out what kind of property management they are. Guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Thanks, guys.